95 laps complete. We're under the second caution of the day. Uh, Trevor Bain, last year's Daytona 500 winner, racing for the Wood Brothers, running in 26th place, got up and into the wall up in turn number three to bring out the second caution flag. Uh, David Rudiman will get the free pass. And normally I'd say, well, he's got a lot of damage. He probably done for the night. But these cars are so resilient, you can knock the wall down with them and come in, beat the fenders out, and go again. Let's talk about the two-tire strategy in the last run. Dale Earnhardt Jr. fell from 11th to 16th on two tires. Tony Stewart restarted 13th. He got track position, but fell to 27th. That science project is complete, Matt. The car was free for Matt Kenseth, but he also thinks that was because of the debris on the grill. They're going to pull tape because of the water and oil temperature. Meanwhile, Mark Martin says his car, he wants it to be just a tick tighter for this next run, Dick Bergeron. Jimmy Johnson in the lower right of your screen said that the control, the adjustments that they've had in the last pit stop work, so a little more of that. Steve. Greg Biffle had some trash on the grill. They've cleaned that off. Also a wedge adjustment in the left rear. Krista. Martin Truex saying he has no rear grip at all. He says, I need something stronger than the adjustment you gave me last time. Last time it was air pressure. This time it's track bar. The team got him out first the last time. Not this time. Again. Nope, Martin Truex. Tell you what, that uh, that 48, that 48's crew, Jimmy Johnson's yep. crew, he cleaned the grill and they still smoking with their pit stop. That number one pit stall though, that's the tip, baby. Look at that, they're taking all that stuff off the grill. Second caution of the day for Trevor Bain. There's Martin Truex winning the race off pit road from Greg Biffle and Jimmy Johnson. Heading in, and there's Trevor Bain, who had some problems as well, brought out a caution. He talked about that car just getting sideways down in turn three, Chris. The wind could have been an assist there. You're a little bit loose anyway. Thing gets sideways into the outside wall. Carl Edwards comes back to pit road. The team wasn't confident that they got all the lugs replaced properly, Chris. This is a bad break. We've seen how hard it is to drive from the back to the front. The only guy that's done it is Jeff Gordon. He's got a really strong car tonight. Also, Tony Stewart, who started 29th, the two-time champ, of course, won this race back in November. You listen on the radio when they weren't doing so well. Very businesslike. Like, reminds you of the demeanor he had during the chase when he won five of the ten races. What a champion Tony Stewart was last fall and to hold it all together like he did earlier today. Uh, people could take a lesson from that man. And Dale Earnhardt.